Right, I'm at Brinkley. Brinkley St Mary. I've parked Alberta over there. I've taken some pictures of Brinkley Hall where the Isaacsons and the Stuckvilles once lived. This is called the Gables. I've been here with Zara. I've been here several times on my own as well. And this is where my great great grandparents are buried. And my great aunt, Eleanor Oak, who married a Turner. I don't know, I can't remember, he was called Thomas, but he was a postman. And somewhere in this graveyard is um, buried. Anyway, we'll do the video first because people might come early for a service. I don't really know if they do. This is Brinkley St Mary's. This is where very, quite a few members of my Brooks family were baptised and christened here. Mason and Eleanor's other children. Mary Ann was the eldest. My great grandmother was the eldest of that family. And, um... Somewhere in here they are buried. I keep meaning to find out. I, I meant to find out before I came. But we have got one grave that we definitely... That we definitely, um know the location of. I don't know if this will be open yet, it's a bit early. Probably isn't, probably isn't open yet. So, no, it's too early for it to be open. Uh, that's, that was the only risk that I couldn't get in the church uh, because it is so early. Let's just see the, what time it opens. Um, if it does open at any particular time, that is. We've got a Coley, Mrs. Coley, Z. There's the church flowers here. And then you've got the cleaning rotor as well. Got any Turners or Brooks on there? Got Robertson, they were connected. Yeah, there's a couple of Robert Robertsons on there. Oh, I don't know when it'll open then. Sunday, the 24th Exodus, 10.30. Oh, it's at Dunningham. St. Peter's Church. Uh, at Stetchworth is having, yes, they're having um, a garden party at um, Stetchworth, as we know. Doesn't tell you where you can get the key from, does it? Oh, we're not, not to worry. If we can't get in, we can't get in. What time is it? It's 22. By the time we look round, somebody might come and open it. It's a bit early to knock on doors, isn't it? Anyway, if I can't get in, we can't get in. I've got a feeling Charles Darwin is mentioned inside this church. I think it's Darwin, or it could have been, no, I think it was Darwin. See, El um, Mason and Eleanor, there's lots of browns in there, there's a Joseph Jaggard there as well. I think some of the Brooks married a Jaggard, and... Um, yeah, I'm sure they did. Well, it's better to visit than not to visit, isn't it? I mean, I could have... I knew this would be... This is a possibility. It's far too early for the churches to open. I might have that... It would be a shame if that's Dalham as well, because the point of going to Dalham is... Um, to get in the church, and I couldn't get in there last time. And then if I get... There at 10 o'clock there'll be a service and you can't get in anyway. Clements. 
Spooky dog, look. Oh, I wonder who that was. Love me, love my dog. Oh, there's Christopher. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's guarding there. It's so early, see, no one's probably up yet. Like Sarah and I came here, there were more graves then. There were more visible graves. There were, you know, um, well, my, my job, I've often wondered if Eleanor and that were over this side. And their graves have disappeared very quickly. If you think about it, they would be younger than Stephen and Edward Oakes. And I would have thought they would have still been visible. To be quite honest, I can't believe that, um, that they've gone so quickly. Yeah, because so normally I come in the summer and I come when the church is open. I have got images of the church somewhere. They would be with just, they weren't done on digital in those days. It was just an instamatic camera, so I've, I haven't got many. Oh yeah, there's a Robinson. I've got a feeling someone said Philip Gordon Robinson. There was something about the Robinsons here. Died in 19... 82. Tragically killed 18th of November 1982, age 30. Yeah, just Philip Gordon Robinson. It's either that one, I think it's that one that's our grave covered in singing at us. Well, I haven't brought any um, equipment as such, and I haven't got the time today. That That's for a longer visit. Today is just having another type of look round in case we find anything. Over there we've got the manor, of course. Like I guess the Isaacsons. And the Stutvilles were either rented or owned that place. <sighs> I'll go around again in a minute and do photos. Yes, I haven't videoed this place before, you see. I don't know whether I came back in... Two th I did come back in 2014. There's a possibility that I have videoed. This is an update, really. And I was supposed to get flowers, but I couldn't find a garage open. I couldn't find a garage open. See, I just can't... I can't tell who that... who's in there. You know what I mean? I can't... I can't read it. It would be Brooks we would be looking for. That's Pearson's. Oh. They don't tell you we can get the key either. And they died in the 1880s, 1890s, you see. Yes, it's um, a bit unfortunate I haven't got the time to tidy up the grave. This is Eleanor Oak, which is over here, but I'll just go here first, just in case. 
more Pearsons. There's a picture of the manor house that belonged to our ancestors. We do come from finer places. My mother always said that about our long fingers. It was um, symbolic of our our status in the past. This is Brinkley St Mary's, everyone. Linked with the Brooks side of the family. The Oaks are at Borough Green. The Briggses and the Isaacsons are Burwell and Stetchworth, Dullingham. And here we've got, it's hardly visible now, Thomas Frederick Turner. And then, um, I can hardly read it now, but I've got it all written down. He was 76 years when he died. And then um, underneath, it's all fading, it's Eleanor. You can just sort of make it out, El Eleanor, there, Eleanor Mary. Yeah, I think she died in 1936 or something like that. I've got it all, I've got it all written down. And that is, um, it's preserved at the moment while it's under that colour placa. And the stinging nettles are fresh, they're keeping the, the soil okay. Um, I haven't brought any flowers, I'm sorry to say, because there was no garage open. And I've had to make, like, a quick fleeting visit. Just really to, um, on my way back to Somerset, this is just a, a, a call on my way back. Right, over and out, I'm just going to take some photos. <laughs> 